Let's be real. You don't want to be sending business emails with something like John's Roofing Company at gmail.com. It doesn't look professional, right? But rather, John at roofing.com, right? It looks a lot more professional and can even get you a higher response ratio when sending out emails to clients. So today I'll show you guys how to create a free business email and I'll also show you how to route it to your Gmail account. By the end of this video, you guys will be able to send and receive business emails directly from your Gmail account. Now this is really simple to do, so I'll show you guys how to do this in three simple steps. I'll first show you how to create a professional and free business email account. In step two, we'll connect our business email with Google. You'll be able to send and receive messages using your free Gmail account. In step three, we'll send out a test email. We will send out a test email to our email account and also send one to make sure that it's fully working. Now, in order to have a business email, you guys must have some sort of web hosting. This typically allows you to create the business email and it also allows you to create as many as you'd like for your business. If you guys already have web hosting, you guys can keep it, but there is one hosting provider that is really cheap for creating business emails. For business emails, I do recommend Hostinger. You guys can get a year of hosting with Hostinger for just 35 bucks. You can also get a four year plan for a little over $100. My code Daryl10 will give you the largest discount code available. I will leave a link to Hostinger and also my coupon code in the description below of this video. So I just finished making my beautiful website and now I wanna create a free business email for my new websites. Now you guys will need to have web hosting in order to create a free business email. For this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do it with SiteGround and also Hostinger.com. Now among the two, Hostinger.com is a lot more affordable and I actually have a discount code better than their Black Friday sale. So up here, I'll click on WordPress and I'll scroll to the bottom and they have three different plans. You guys can pick any plan that you guys choose. So right here, I'll click on add to cart for their premium plan. Now the next page, you guys will need to pick a period and I do recommend minimum 12 months because I do have a discount code that will save you guys a lot more money. So I'll select 12 months, I'll scroll to the bottom and for a year of hosting, you guys will see that it's only about $29. Now I actually have a coupon code that will save you a little bit more. So if you guys come down here under the coupon code and enter Daryl10 and click on apply, you guys will see the price drop a little bit more and it'll go down to 83% and you'll save at least three to four more dollars. Now, the larger the plan, the more you'll save. So go ahead and go through the process and check out with Hostinger. And once you guys do that, I'll meet you in your dashboard. So here is the Hostinger dashboard. And what we first wanna do here is we first wanna create a free business email. So it doesn't matter what host that you guys are using, you guys can get free emails from any sort of web host. So for right here under free email, I'll click on manage. The next thing I'll do is I'll go over here under email accounts and click on email accounts. Here you'll see that we have email accounts. So I'll go ahead and create a new email account. So this is gonna be something like info at darylwilsontutorial.com. Here I'll put in my password. And then once I put my password, I'll click on create new accounts. All right, cool. Here I can click on access webmail and then I'll enter my password one more time. All right, cool. So I now made a free business email with Hostinger.com. Now let's go back over here to our Hostinger accounts and let's click on done. So next let's click on home. On the right side right here, you're gonna see configure desktop app. I'll go ahead and click on desktop app. So we're gonna scroll down and here's the information that you guys need, configure via pop. So we're gonna take these credentials and we're gonna put them in our Gmail accounts. So let's go over here to our Gmail accounts. At the top right, I'll click on settings. And here you're gonna see, see all settings. Go ahead and click on this. The next thing we're gonna do is click on accounts and imports. And if we scroll to the bottom, you're gonna see check mail from other accounts. I'll click on add a mail account. Now we're gonna enter in that email that we just created. Then I'll click on next. I wanna import emails from my other accounts and I'll also click on next. So now we have some information that we need to input from our Hostinger account. So let's go back over to your Hostinger and here is the credentials that we need. So we'll first enter in our email address and our password. So here is our email address and then we're gonna enter in our password. These are the credentials that you guys created with when you created your email with Hostinger. So next it's asking us for our pop server. Let's go back over here and grab it. So for incoming server, we wanna grab this specific server. I'll copy this and I'll paste it right there. Next, we're gonna change the port. So you'll see our port number is 995. So we'll go over here and change this to 995. 
I'll click on always leave a secure connection with SSL. And I also want to label incoming messages at info at darylwilsontutorial.com. Once you guys have selected those two, we'll then click on add account. All right, cool. So we have now created the account, but I also want to send emails as info at darylwilsontutorial.com. So right here, I'll click on yes, and then I'll click on next. So here's the name that people are going to see when they see this email. So I'm going to put Daryl Wilson, right? So just go ahead and put your name. And then I'll click on next step. So next we're going to enter in the outgoing information. So let's go back over here to Hostinger and you'll see here we have our outgoing server information. So I'll take the server name and I'll paste it right here. And then for the port number, we're going to select 465 because right here you'll see that we are using the SSL. So we want to select the port number for the SSL, which is 465. So go ahead and select 465. And then for the username and info, you're just going to put the credentials of the email that you created with Hostinger. Next, I'll make sure to use the SSL, which is recommended. And once we do that, I'll then click on add account. All right, cool. So now we're given a confirmation link sent to this specific email, and this is located in our server. So I'm going to go back over here to our hosting your email account and you guys will see that email appeared. So I'll go ahead and click on this and then I'll click on the verification link. Next, I'll click on confirm. All right, cool. So now we can send email and also receive it at info at darylwilsontutorial.com. So let's test it. Let's go over here to our Gmail account. All right, so I'll go over here and I'll just compose an email. And as you'll see now, we now can compose and send email addresses from this specific email. So I'll actually send this over to my personal email right here. And then I'm gonna put, hey, what's up? Cool tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs, hold on, thumbs up. And then I'll click on send. So now I'll go ahead and check my email. And there it is. You'll see the email has successfully arrived in our account. Now you're gonna get the email first in your business accounts and then Hostinger will fetch the email. This time frame can take anywhere between one to five minutes. Once they fetch the email, they're then going to route it to your personal Gmail account. So that's how you guys can create a free business email account and route it to your Gmail. Now let me show you how to do this with SiteGround. All right, so now let me show you guys how to create a free business email account and route it with SiteGrounds. So I'm gonna scroll down right here and I'll just grab a random domain. Let's use, I think, Host Helper. That's a good one. If you guys want to buy it, I'm actually selling this domain right here, hosthelper.com. Right here, I'll click on Site Tools under the domain. And now I'll create a free business email for this specific domain. So this will be like howdy at hosthelper.com. I'll create a password and then I'll click on Create. All right, cool. So I made the account. Now, right here where these three dots are, I'll click on these three dots and I'll click on Mail Configuration. And then what I wanna do here is click on manual settings. And this is the info that we'll need in order to route it to our Gmail accounts. So let's go back to Gmail. Okay, so now I wanna route a second one. So let's do the same thing, gear icon. I'll click on see all settings. Then I'll click on accounts and imports. And then here I'll click on under the check mail from other accounts. I'll click on add a mail accounts. So next I'll enter in the email address that we just created, howdy at hosthelper.com. I'll click on next. Then I'll click on import emails from my other accounts. So we're gonna enter the username, which is our email, hosthelper.com. And then we'll enter the password. Next, we're gonna enter our port number. Now I know for SiteGround it says 993, but we're actually gonna use 995. This is required for Gmail. So we're gonna select 995 for the port instead of 993. So make sure it's 995. We'll check these boxes and then we'll click on add account. Cool, so we added the accounts. Now we'll click on next. So go ahead and give yourself a name. So I'll put Daryl Wilson and I'll put SiteGround here just to let you guys know that this is for SiteGround. Then I'll click on next. Now we're gonna enter the SMTP information. So let's go back over here and we're gonna take the outgoing server. We're gonna put it here for the outgoing server. And then for username, we're gonna enter howdy at hosthelper.com, enter in our password. And then for the port, we're gonna use 465. For the port, 465. And then I'll click on add account. All right, cool. So now we gotta check our email account and verify it. So let's go back over here. I'll close this. And then under manage email accounts, we'll go ahead and log in. 
So here I'll click on log into webmail and you guys will see that the email now shows up right here. So I'll go ahead and click on this email and then I'll verify it. Here I'll click on this link and then I'll click on confirm. All right, cool. So now we have to go to our email account with Gmail and do the same thing in order to send it. So let's go back over here. All right, so now it says right here, send email as. I'll go ahead and click on this link and then I'll click on confirm. So that's it. So now we can send and receive email from this specific email. So let's test it out. Here, I'll click on the email. So now let's compose an email using that business email. So right here, compose. And we're gonna select the SiteGround, Howdy at House Helper. And this will be like, what's up? No, I'm sorry. This is the to address, my bad. And then for the subject, great vid. I know, right? And then I'll click on send. So now I'll go check my personal email. Okay, so I'm here logged into my specific email and it does take time just like Hostinger. So this could take anywhere between one to three minutes and voila, look at that, it just came in. If I click on this email, you'll see it came from howdy at hosthelper.com and here is the message. So we know it works. So that is how you guys can connect your business email with Gmail. Also, if you guys like this website, we do offer template kits like this and 300 plus more available on my website. If you guys do wanna go ahead and check these out, I will leave a link to all of our template kits in the description below of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a free business email with uh, your hosting provider and connect it to Google. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. Now, I do realize that I do recommend various hosting companies, but for something like business email, I think Hostinger is probably one of your best bets because uh, you can get like four years for just like a little over hundred bucks. It's not too expensive. So let me know in the comments how I did. And if you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. And until then, I will see all of you party people later.